Welcome to the Tough Crowd program, the Tough Crowd TV program. Grammy-nominated rapper Mystical uh, was sentenced to six years in prison when a videotape surfaced of him forcing his hairstylist to perform oral sex on him and members of his crew. Now, he claims she robbed him of $80,000. If he did that and she didn't rob him, he's a racist. He deserves what he got. If she did rob him and they forced her to do that, that's the hottest story I've heard in a long time. But listen. <laughs> All right. Um, we were also going to talk about how the malls now sell stripper-style clothes for kids. It's ridiculous. I tried to give my five-year-old niece a bath. I said, take off your clothes, get in the tub. How much? <laughs> you try to teach these kids potty training, they tell you it's extra for water sports? I'm sorry, folks. That's why I draw the damn line. And you do, too, apparently, but... A West Virginia lawmaker wants to put uh, sex offender alerts on the state's license plates. I've already seen a few priests on board. You see that one, right? A <laughs> no? uh, proud parent of a Neverland Ranch graduate. No? <laughs> Minnesota, land of a thousand blonde boys. All right. <laughs> also, we'll be talking about the Iowa caucus. The Iowa caucus, which is called that because it's in Iowa and because it's for Caucasians. <laughs> Now Patrice likes his music. The only one that hates it is that square Keith. Uh-oh, I guess this is, wait a minute, before we start, what is this? In I got to work on Martin Luther King's birthday, so this is my protest fist. Nobody forced you to come. I'm it sorry. did force me to come. No, it is. It, it, it is disrespectful. I want to say to you from all the white people, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> I still got it, baby. Why don't you just accept that? Hundreds of people who believe President Bush's policies dishonor Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday protested Bush's visit ugh, to King's grave last week. Take a look at some of the action. Demonstrators at the tomb of the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. in Atlanta protested the president's visit, opposing the war in Iraq and the administration's treatment of the poor. There's an insult to all of us who believe in the life and the legacy of Dr. King. First of all, how annoying is it to see the white people in the middle of the protest? I know even you don't like that. But does someone with a political reputation of Bush dishonor King's legacy, Jeff? First off, they were protesting the uh, war more than they were uh, protesting. What the heck is that beeping crap? Somebody's got their cell phone on in the middle of the show. All right. That's not right. So um, that's, that's the, but there's no color when it comes to Martin Luther King. It's all about, uh, it's mankind. <laughs> It's about mankind. What are you trying to win? It, 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 it's definitely, that was awful for somebody who's on an improv show every week. It, 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 <laughs> so it's not so my husband. Hey, 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 it was racial. It was racial. Listen to me. Go ahead. It was racial. No, so what are you saying? But do you think it disrespects him? Well, I think I Mad because it was black people mad. So, so I'm basically, I, what I, I, I have, to do, I say what I have right. to do on this show is be witty immediately, or you're gonna fuck with me, right? That's not with yeah. me sitting next to him. Okay, because I will nail your ass so bad, uh -oh. I'll hit you. I got him. I'll wrestle your ass. I swear to God. All right. John Hanna. <laughs> John Hanna was a black man. Who's can I? Can I just John say? The jersey he's wearing. I don't think it's wrong for the president of the United States to acknowledge a great man like Dr. King, but if people are so worried about his legacy. They should go out and vote and get rid of this guy, is what they should do. That's uh, honoring Dr. King. I could have lived without, except for the applause. Why, why, why do you act like they like? I just want to see one white person be honest and say they didn't like Martin Luther King. This well, is there was one, James O'Reilly. Yeah, James O'Reilly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. the damn world. Why don't you step in and straighten this crew out? I think that uh, Bush needs to address the civil rights uh, the, in his own state and the lack of advance that they've made. You know what? You've been, I've been too long. No, no. Listen, you're I've been Tennessee, in Tennessee, you're a born killer. Don't act like you don't like the death penalty. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm against it. But I've been to laundromats in Texas. Yeah, I don't say And uh, the washing machines, they still say colored and white on them. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> they still drag black men on the back of trucks oh. up to five years ago. What? One so guy in Texas. What happened five so, years ago? Let me tell you something. What, what happened five they years ago? They dragged the black dude to Rob Bird on the back of the truck. By the way, those guys got raped in jail, too. Nobody was to say it. Yeah. The Iowa caucuses were Wait a minute, what? 
<laughs> the two guys. Okay, well, why did you say that? As we supposed to be, we supposed to be photographers or something like that? Yeah. You're supposed to look what, at the cause and effect. Wait, the poor, the poor uh, guy that dragged the black dude to death got raped in prison. Right. And why that was your you? way of protesting the poor white man. You right, really right. suck. Why am I on this show today? No, 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 you're misinterpreting what he's saying. I'm gonna go home in about two minutes. Sit you down. wanna hear the truth? Sit down. That's the truth. So it should be the truth. What? Oh, he's what, not, what he's does not that mean? To it. That you're means that, that you can't ignore cause and effect. They got raped in prison. They were crazy. They went crazy in prison. Got raped by the black dudes. They didn't drag this poor guy into it. Cause and effect. So you're saying the poor guy, if they didn't. Do what they did, right. then it would have. They would not got yeah. what, what does that mean? What? That, it means just what you say. Wait, so what's the wait? Cause and effect. That means there had to be something uh, before the dragging. Right. The raping. The the what was the poor thing that happened with the dragon? The raping. The raping happened after the dragon. No, no. Before. 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 The Iowa caucuses were today. Here's a look at the Iowa Democratic Committee during a caucus practice session. They use characters, this is true, from The Simpsons, instead of the real candidates. This is from C-SPAN. This is what they do. I'll go over the candidates. Homer Simpson, Marge Simpson, Troy McClure, Mr. Burns, Ned <laughs> Flanders, Barney Gumbel. You can form a group um, of uncommitted people as well. I vote for Marge. <laughs> now... Who could explain what a caucus is? Does anyone know? I don't anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's mountains and uh, yeah, the caucus really mountains. Yeah. A caucus is where they kind of get together and decide who they want to pick for the for the primary. It's not a primary. It's a different thing. No. Yeah. That's the primary. Right. They actually vote for the actual. They're caucus. in Iowa. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Iowans decide for us. That's it's for disturbing. them. Not yeah, a Jew in the whole thing. Now, wait a minute. At least Iowans are still, they have that sincerity where they're actually like, oh, the process. Can you imagine us going to some caucus? No, because nobody would show up. So let's cut the b <laughs> You wouldn't show up either. None of us would. They're all losers. Look at these four candidates. That it looks like a reunion of Super Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> Korea has agreed to freeze its nuclear program in exchange for U.S. aid and their removal from the access of evil list. Now, this story never made it further than page six of the New York Times. What is your theory on why the media hid this story, Patrice? Because they already decided they're going to go kill that little Chinese man, so there's no point to even... He's already on the list, so what's the point? Of, he, he can't get out like Sonny from... The Bronxdale is too late. Now you can't leave. That's the whole thing happened. They tried to give his little ass a chance, and they blew it, man. Now it's they going in to take care of business. No I think it's just the opposite. I think it's because... Oh, I'm sorry. Point. Jeff, there's a little tension between me and Jeff. He don't know what no, I'm talking about. I love no. you unconditionally. Stay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> What didn't you understand what I was saying? I well, she said, what you talking what about? What I'm about talking it. about... Oh, first off, he called him the little Korean oh, man. Oh, from the movie. Oh, Chinese. Chinese. He called him a Chinese man. Well, he did that it's, a movie, it's a movie reference. And it was hilarious. Yes, but I'm just saying that... <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it, right? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> It's time for another Armageddon. That's where we point out the things going on in the culture that will help put an expiration date on our society. Today's Armageddon is the rise of stripper-inspired activities for preteens. That is, they teens, preteens, including stripper wear. Look at this little T-shirt. All right? Look at that, for heaven's sakes. You know, it doesn't look very Armageddon when they have, like, a hot model there. I, know. I don't understand. No, it's not a 12-year-old. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. right, let's pretend this is a picture of somebody that shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Uh, Susie, what do you it think? is so wrong. You know, in the summer, walking down the street, these little girls have their entire bodies showing the crack of their behind, the midriff, 
Teenagers are way too sexually stimulated. Their hormones are going wacky. They do not need more stimulation. I am completely against it. Yeah, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> but you're an adult. You could go to a strip club. You could turn, buy porn, whatever. It is not necessary to be walking through the streets with nothing on. Well, because it gets younger and younger. Now it's really young. They got little girls where, you know. It's sexualizing, it's sexualizing preteens, which I think is completely wrong. I Why? blame uh, Britney Spears and all people of her ilk. She's going to have to do porn, I decided, eventually. You know, she's going to have to do porn to keep her career going. She makes out with old ladies, has, <laughs> has, uh, has uh, you know, uh, fake weddings, you know. You're uh, being overly quiet on this one. Why? Well, Can't because she likes it. <laughs> look, exactly. That speech you, is, you can only, uh, look, only a MILF can make that speech. You, you can't. A what? A what? What are you using? A milk. What's a milk? That's a cup. <laughs> yeah, big time. She's fine, too. But. Uh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Look, the only you get is a man. That's not even a good acronym. The only, it is a good I didn't make it up. Where's the two? We didn't make it up. <laughs> the You're right. You, the older you get is a man. The milk. The younger. Not, and not pedophile young, but. You know. We're talking pedophile young. Yeah, we're talking we're that talking, young. If that no, girl was her, her. It's not her. 12, it's this one. 11 times, 10, hey, 11, 12. I've seen girls uh, that age wear that shirt. That shirt means nothing. When I hit uh, 36, I definitely felt like I was wrong. <laughs> you know, in terms of just I would look and that go. That makes it more exciting. Wait. No, it doesn't make it. No. It adds that whole other level of like, guilt. dear God. Not guilt. No, no. Shame. It's a, no, it's illusion. Erection. I'd say to myself, man, <laughs> if I wasn't married... I'd still be standing here pointing at you. <laughs> uh, let's talk about these shirts. The West Virginia lawmaker wants to make the sex offender alerts on the license plate. What do you think about this, Rich? <laughs> well, I, I think that's uh, that's a lot more, a lot more work if you're a child. Now, if a, if a car pulls up and offers you candy, you have to go around to the back and check the license plate before <laughs> you decide whether to get in the car with them. You know? Maybe no, they're just somebody trying to give you candy. Well, does anyone have a problem with you and wanting to give candy? There's too many right. foul people out there for you to put. Look at. I believe if somebody commits a crime, not everybody who commits a crime is a criminal. Sometimes if I kill you, and I don't need to go to jail. Yeah, but child molestation has huge recidivism, recidivism, whatever the word is. You actually just said something really funny. Yeah, I know. You interrupted right. him. But child molestation is a different story. People who are child molesters, those who molest one kid. They're not going to change. That's the profile. What's that that right? profile was over after the sniper was brought. I think oh, that all child oh, molesters should have to dress like Abe Lincoln. That's right. <laughs> you could spot him a mile away. <laughs> just have him wear the big hat and the, and the, 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 the glue on the beard every day. If it falls off, they go to jail. <laughs> Gotta keep it glued on. Glued on. I'm all right. for the scarlet lettering of child molesters. At the very least, why, if, you're, if you're a pedophile, why do you even get to drive? Why don't they take your license away so you have to walk? What? That's right. Why, why are they even alive? Why are you out? They shouldn't even be alive. This conversation should not be happening in a normal civilized society like Saudi Arabia. Then cut your balls off, <laughs> cut your hands off, and we're going to have this discussion. They should give That's them, they should give them antidepressants, which decrease your libido. A lot that of those are set up, too, man. Like, Mike, it's getting ready to be proven. Mike, Mike didn't touch that little boy. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just say one thing. I don't know why your people spun this one that Mike's innocent. First of all, because he's black. First of all, first I'm first sick of it. Come on. Hey, hey, Colin, Colin. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? First of all, black denounced Michael Jackson years ago. We know that. So but it's not a black thing. It's just a it's fake thing. thing. And, but but it's also not a black thing. man who oh. denounced black people. The yes. only black people who decided to make black it innocent. Black people aren't even... Just to aggravate us. To try to find a new way no, to but Colin, uh, Michael Jackson. First of all, this I think the crocodile hunter was much worse than Michael Jackson feeding his kid to the baby. That's as bad as anything, Michael Jackson. At least Michael Jackson got good songs we all love. And, and the Crocodile Hunter did nothing. I, it's, going, it's coming out that that kid, if he's not alive, his mother was. Something, something's going on. Oh, I think it was